This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking? See man analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the day they release us is false. Man, it gives the false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I have a few people, you know, they hit me up on Twitter. They hit me up on YouTube. And, and they're like, okay, Donahue, you talk about the fraud and corruption in the market. I mean, we all know that it exists. Anybody who claims that it doesn't exist is living in a fantasy world. And then, you know, they ask me, why do I keep talking about it if I don't have a solution? I, every morning I get up, I try to see what's going on in the market. I try to see what information I think is important that I need to share with with. with my fellow retail investors and I'm going to keep calling these guys out every time I catch them breaking the law. Every time I catch them doing something that I find to be questionable, I'm going to keep calling them out. Okay. And do I have a solution? I, I really don't. I really don't. I don't have a solution to the fraud and corruption. All I can say or suggest is that everybody should contact their congressmen, contact their senators, and let them know what's going on in the stock market. Because it seems like a lot of our politicians act like they're not aware of what's going on in the stock market. And the more people that know about what's going on in the stock market, the more likelihood we might run into a person in power who wants to see a change. AFC Theater is gonna bring down the entire stock market. And this is just my opinion. I'm not telling you to buy, hold or buy, hold or sell AMC, but they have allowed AMC to get so out of control that when it squeezes, it's going to wreck the entire market and not just in the United States, but I think it's going to touch the global market because that's how many retail investors I believe is involved in AMC. I believe there's millions nationally and probably multi-millions internationally. And the shortest of AMC are not just the American corporations. I believe there are shortest internationally also who are going to feel it when AMC squeezes. Is there any way for us to force AMC to squeeze? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, I'm just going to hold. I'll continue doing, you know, other plays while I'm waiting for for them to crash and burn because I believe they are going to crash and burn. And even if they get the reverse split, I know the reverse split is going to help them. It's going to help them get rid of 90% of their counterfeit shares. But they probably, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, it, they're probably a hundred times the float that's sold out there. So even the reverse split, is not going to save them. And that is just my opinion. But do I have a solution to the fraud and corruption? No, I do not. Anyway, please leave some comments. Does anybody out there have a solution to the fraud and corruption in the U.S. stock market? I would like to hear it because, and please don't say the SEC to do their job because we know the SEC is not going to do their job. They're not going to protect retail investors. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.